All right, hey, welcome back to some more Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we delivered the old charm to Cynthia's grandmother. We battled a Team Galactic Grunt and then ended up having to battle Team Galactic Leader Cyrus for the first time. In between episodes, I did a little bit of leveling. I got I got our team up to level 33 to 36. I evolved Bruce. I am going to put that at the end of the video, the evolution for Bruce. And that's really pretty much it. The Pokemon are just a, a few levels higher. But we were told we need to go to Canalave City. So to get to Canalave City, we got to go to Route 218. Which, let me find my uh, town map here. So Route 218 right here. We got to go to. I don't know if you can see that. But Route 218 right here. And then we can make our way to Canalave City. So I'm going to meet you in Jubilife City. I'll be right back. All right, we are in Jubilife City, so if we head right on up here to the left, we're going to find ourselves Route 218. One of these days, I'm going to get myself a Pokemon on my team that can learn Fly at a decent level. I, I don't know. Let's see. What game was it I had Dragonite in? It took almost till the end of the game to before I could actually get Fly on my Pokemon. But here we go. We are Route 218. We can surf over here. There's an item for us to grab. These are uh, a couple trainers. We got ourselves a Hyper Potion. This trainer right here, he's got our, uh, two Gyaradoses. Gyarados, level 33, I want to say they are. But let's see here. There's a couple Pokemon for us to grab here on Route 218. So let's do that first. So we can find, over there in that grass, we can find Mr. Mime, who has a chance of holding a Lepaberry. You got Gastrodon. And then if we surf, we can find ourselves Tenacool and Tenacruel. Both have a chance of holding the Poison Barb. And last, we can use a Good Rod to catch uh, Finneon. So I'm going to catch those five Pokemon and I will be right back. Actually, let me show you how to get to the other side of Route 218. It isn't hard. It is not hard at all. You just literally surf around these two people. Or you could have just went up instead of left. And you would have ended up above those rocks right there. You would have ended up right here if you went up instead of left. And that's how you get to the grass. This guy makes me want to battle him. I don't know why. There we go. That's one. Hey, there's number two. Hannah wants to learn Toxic, but I think I'm going to get rid of Cut here in a little bit and give her Toxic that way. Two more to go. Two more to go. All right, that was easy. Hey, there we go, Finneon. I just realized when I was looking up what Pokemon might learn, or not might learn, I was looking up what Pokemon have a chance of holding an item. I just realized I spelled Finneon wrong, so Finneon might have a chance of holding an item. You know, I do control F to find, because I have a whole list of Pokemon who have a chance of holding an item. So what I do is, while I'm searching, I hit control F. Uh-oh. I hit control F, put the Pokemon's name in, and then it'll bring me to that Pokemon, rather than searching through the 300 Pokemon to make, you know, because what I'm looking at is not even alphabetical. It's not even alphabetical! But, yeah, so that's what I did. Finneon might have a chance of holding an item, I don't know. But we got ourselves, uh, who is this? Oh, the Shaven, a long time no see. Oh, oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am. I'm Professor Rowan's assistant and Dawn's father. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, interesting. That's, oh, oh I like this. This is interesting. Oh, the professor asked me that I upgrade your Pokedex, you see. So I'd chosen this spot on a hunch that you'd pass through. Shaven, may I have your Pokedex for a moment? Let's see, was I supposed to put in the software here? 
Uh, ka chunk, ka chunk. That did not sound good. Did you just break my Pokédex? Oh, I think he broke my Pokédex. Oh, no. All done. I've upgraded your Pokédex. I should explain how it's been upgraded, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's do that. It can now uh, display images of male and female Pokémon. Oh, that's right. Male, female Pokémon have a different sprite in this game. That's interesting. Forgot all about that. Okay, I'll leave you to carry on with your project for the Professor. May I also ask you to keep an eye on Team Galactic? The Professor is concerned about what's happening in Jubilife City. It's probably nothing to worry over. I'll be on my way now. Alright, let's 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 take a look at the Pokedex. What did he do? I don't see anything different. Let's press this button. Uh, forms, maybe? Maybe? Okay, I got the mail form. Uh, is that because I've only seen the mail form? Let's see another form. Uh, no? No? Okay, I, I guess I don't get to see anything else. Let's, you know what I could do? Let's look at a Pokemon that we know we've seen many of. Let's find, like, uh, Starly. Nope. Bidoof. Bidoof. I've seen probably more Bidoofs than anything else. Let's see here. Form. See another. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, the male form has more, uh, balls on its butt. The female form has less balls on its butt. Interesting. I feel as though I need to, uh, go, uh, you know, go to my church and confess my sins now. Oh, goodness. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta call my sponsor. I gotta call my sponsor, tell him, tell him things happened. Things happened. Okay, we got ourselves a couple items we can grab here. I believe this house right here, if we talk to her? Hello, trainer, this is something I found. Oh. Sounds promising. Sounds promising. TM48, which I believe is skill swap, I think. Right? Right? It is skill swap. Yes, it is. Wow. Okay. Yeah, just keep talking to me. Just keep talking to me. Okay. Hey, buddy. I don't know if you have anything for me, but I don't really care. We got ourselves the Pokemart. We know what a Pokemart is. And then we got this house right here, which also has something for us, which is... I don't know. Who are you? Uh... Who did you say I was again? You don't know who you are? Oh yes, I remember. I'm the move deleter. Aha, yes. We finally found the move deleter. We can get rid of a few moves that we don't really want on our Pokemon. What do we have here? Let's see. Um, I want to get rid of cut on on my, uh, on my our Hannah. Hannah. Hannah is going to learn cut. Or forget cut. Hannah learned. Not learned. Forgot. Hannah forgot cut. All right. Next, let's go to King. King's got a few moves I want to get rid of. I'm going to keep Rock Smash for now, but I will get rid of Defog. Let's see, obstacles are moved, reducing the foe's evasion stat. Oh, well, I don't really care about fixing the evasion on the field. Actually, that is a good move for me because I do hate when my accuracy is reduced or when the opponent's evasion is increased. It's one of my pet peeves of Pokemon. We got ourselves the Pokemart right here. We got this lady right here who's, uh, I don't know, Psyduck learned Return. Return is a really good move. I like Return. Oh, look, we got a locked house. This is the only smart owner ever in Pokemon because I can't just break into this person's house that I've never met in my life, but oh well. Okay, let's see here. Let me heal my Pokemon up real quick. All right, let's go uh, explore the rest of the city now where, uh oh. Oh no, it's Barry. Oh goodness. Oh, oh whoops. Hey, DeShaven, you're going to challenge the gym leader up past the here, huh? Eh? 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 Ooh? Ah? I don't know. Someone should check to see if you're ready for this challenge. That someone is me with my brand new gym badge. You already got the gym badge? What? You're better than I am, Barry. Even though I keep beating you, you're faster than me. You are faster than me. But that means the gym leader had to battle you. Oh, look at that. I got the right Pokemon out for once. Oh, and my attack. Oh, I hate Star Raptor. I love Star Raptor. It's such a cool Pokemon. Let's see here. Spark should still be able to take Star Raptor out in maybe one turn. It will definitely in two turns, but with stupid double team. Stupid double team. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, of course. That's how we're going. Hey, I want to say, hey, uh, we got a, we got some new... We got some new members to this uh, community. Last couple episodes, we got some new 
uh, subscribers, which is pretty cool. I want to say thanks for uh, for being here. One thing you need to know is I hate when uh, people lower my accuracy. I've already mentioned this once in the video. Or when they increase their accuracy. It's the worst. Oh my gosh. That, 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 that. Oh, and I missed. It was one double team. Actually, it might be two now. And now, that, oh no. How does Pharaoh lose? Pharaoh's supposed to be the best Pokemon ever. Pharaoh should be... He should be a legendary Pokemon. Star Raptor. Do I have uh, any move that is a uh, quick attack? style move i do not think i do that is not good who's a fast pokemon i think zelos is fast right right you're fast right i don't know i think ariel's air ariel ace should take you out what i could have did though was uh use a sword stance and then let it take itself out with takedown i would have got plus two much plus two to my attack and he would have went down, but I also would have lost some HP. Floatzel. Oh, I wouldn't want to keep this Pokemon in for a Floatzel anyway. Oh, no, my Pharaoh's down. Let's go ahead and send in. Send in Hana. Let's go, Hana. You now only have three moves. But Floatzel, level 35. When does Floatzel evolve? Floatzel doesn't evolve. When does Weasel evolve? I do not really know because I don't think I've ever really used a Weasel on my team. I don't think when I played when I played Diamond and Pearl, I didn't go 100% the game. I ended up losing it before uh, I could do that. I did get pretty decently far into the game. Actually, you can catch Floatzel, can't you? You don't have to evolve Weasel in this game. I don't think you do. Well, we're playing Platinum. I've never played Platinum fully through, so this is going to be a first for me. It's not too much different than Diamond and Pearl. Oh, 1300 experience. We're starting. Oh, Rapidash. Oh, Rapidash. This is a bad matchup. Let's go ahead and send in King. I believe King learned Brine when I was leveling up. I think. I think. I think. I think. Rapidash. Level 40. Level 35. What are you doing? Yes, you know Brine. Why are you level 35? He's cheating. He's got an action replay. He's, he's just not playing fair. Two Pokemon with takedown. Okay. Interesting. I'm not a fan of, uh, of the move takedown. One Surf. I'm surprised it was only one Surf. But okay, I'll take it. I will take it. Oh, come on. King, one more level and you evolve. Torterra. Let's go ahead and put in Bruce. Torterra is kind of scaring me right now. It is kind of scaring me. I don't have anything super effective against it. I guess I do, but I don't at the same time. You are ground. I I need to get a move that has... Uh, let's go in with Curse. Bruce is faster, obviously, because Torterra is about as slow as a rock. Let's see here. I don't know what I was saying. Bite. Of course I went down to Bite. Hey, Tiaga! Thank you for, um, you know, making fun of me for losing to a, a, a Crunch. Uh, it's okay. If you're having a good time, then I'm I'm happy that you're having a good time. Okay, who do we send out? I need a Pokemon. Let's see. Man, this is such a terrible type. You're Grass type, but you're also Ground type, which is super effective against uh, this Pokemon. Let's see. Let's see. Water is good against Ground, but Grass is good against Water. Oh no! What do I do? Let's go ahead and send in Zelos. Zelos, what what is your ability? What is your ability? I don't know. Is Aerial Ace going to do anything? Let's hit with one Swords Dance. I don't think Torterra will be able to take Zelos down. Actually, now that I think about it, you're weak to this because he's going to use a Grass type. And you're part Ground type. My goodness. Well, actually, you're also part Flying, so Grass might just be a normal effective. It is. Okay. I don't know why I needed to use a Swords Dance because I forgot you had Curse. Wow. Wowzers. Wow. Nice. I like it. I like it. Is that the battle? I don't think it is. I believe there's one more trainer. Or not trainer. I believe there's one more Pokemon. And who is it going to be? Oh, that's right. I gave Zelos the Shell Bell. Heracross. Yes. All right. We are going to switch into... Let's see. You're bug fighting. Actually, we're going to leave Zelos in because you are four times weak to Aerial Ace. Plus, I got the plus two. There's no way Heracross is standing up to this. You've gotten into tight spots plenty of times, you say. 
Okay, me too. I have gotten into tight spots plenty of times. Let's, uh... Yeah. Oh, it was a crit too. Wow, there was no chance Heracross was standing up to that. Wow. Alright, I like it. And the battle's over. Oh, and Zelos got a level. I'll take it. I will take it. Ooh, look at that. Plus three HP, plus three to attack, plus three to defense. Ooh, what just happened? You're telling me I lost. You lost to the gym leader. Or you beat the gym leader. Yeah, yeah. You're just a bit better than me, as usual. But listen up. Tell me, uh, let me tell you who's going to take on the Pokemon League and become the champion. You guessed right. It's going to be me. Anyway, you should go to Iron Island and toughen up some more. Yeah, train on Iron Island. That's what I did before going to the gym. I'm not doing that. No, I love Iron Island. I'm going to heal up. Yeah, I love Iron Island. It's, it's probably one of my favorite places in the game. Here we got a library, but there's nothing in there for us. Hey, I don't know what you have to say. Do you have something to say to me? Something about space. What about you, the gym leader and trainers of this gym? Often out to blah, blah, blah. I don't know why I can't read that. And, ooh. Sailor Etrichish. Etrichish. Hi. I don't know if I came in here to talk to you guys in uh, practice. Let's uh, let's see what, what you have to say. Our boy has too much energy. Yeah, I, I know people like that. I know people like that. Okay, the, let's see here. Over here, we got ourselves a hidden big pearl. If you talk to this man right here, you can go to Iron Island. But I'm not worried about Iron Island right now. I want to try to go through the gym. I don't think I'm going to be able to. There are so many, so many mandatory battles in here. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get by this first person. No, it's already a mandatory battle. Wonderful. Steel represents an unbending spirit. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Let's see what kind of Pokemon you have. You got one Pokemon. A Steelix. Oh, that's something I love about this game. Is normally you have to trade Onix to get a Steelix. Well, with the Metal Coat. But in this game, you can find wild Steelixes. It's so cool. You know, in the same area, you can find Geodudes and, and, and Gravelers. Which I kind of wish that they made it possible to find Onix in there. That would have been cool. Since you have, you know, Onyx. Did I say Onyx? I meant Golem. Golem. I wish you could find Golem in there. I think that would make Iron Island that much cooler. Iron Island is one of my favorite places because of Steelix being there. I like Steelix as a kid. You know, the Pokemon you had to trade to evolve were so special. You know, I loved them. They meant so much to me because they weren't exactly the easiest thing to get as a kid. So when you can find a Pokemon who you normally need to trade to evolve, fully evolve, it's it's awesome. It's so fun. It's so cool. It's so nifty. Nifty. The word of the day. Nifty. Okay, that was one mandatory battle. That was easy. We're going to go ahead and skip all these. Let's see if I can skip this trainer. You're not mandatory. Let's... Uh-oh. I almost walked right in front of you. If we step on this... Stop looking! Why do you do this to me, trainers? Okay, we're going to step on this. It's going to bring us up. What just happened? My game glitched, I think. Now we're going to go down. And another mandatory battle. Wonderful! I guess what I'll do is I might stop before the gym leader and then do a few evolutions. I don't know how long this battle is going to be. Or this uh, episode is going to be. I don't know what you're going to say to me. I'm a noob. Is that what you said? This is the seventh gym leader, isn't it? It might be the sixth. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's see. I believe this is number... Oh, goodness. So you are Bug... Steel... So let's go ahead and send in Unicor. Hopefully you don't just take Unicor out. You might. I don't know. Metal Claw. I don't think that's very effective against fire, is it? Steel's not very effective against fire? It is not. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit with a Flame Wheel. This will be four times effective. So I don't think Scizor will stand up. Oh my goodness, you did. Oh, but I got a burn. Oh, 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 oh ooh. I like it. I like it. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was like, what? What's going on? What's going on? It's just Sizor being burned. Oh. 
Okay, there we go. Sizor's down. Level 40, though. I just... Oh, my gosh. I thought I just got my Pokemon back up to level where I was even with the trainers, but apparently not. Apparently not. So, if you have a level 40 Pokemon, I only can imagine what the gym leader has. Oh, no. I'm already underleveled. Okay, now this one's going to take us over. And I can run. Run, run, run. Let's see here. I believe I got to take this one. And then, unfortunately, it should be this one. Oh, man. I don't know what kind of Pokemon you have. I. Why is there so many mandatory battles in a gym? Most gyms, you got, like, may maybe one mandatory battle. At least in the older games. I don't know, though. In Ruby and Sapphire... Well, I shouldn't say Ruby and Sapphire. No, yeah, Ruby and Sapphire. The seventh... No, the 6th Gym Leader, and the 7th Gym Leader, too. Yeah, there's uh, quite a few uh, mandatory battles. I guess maybe it's maybe I'm forgetting a little later on in the in, in Gym. A little later game Gyms. That's what I was trying to say. Later game Gyms probably just have more mandatory battles. I don't know. I don't know. I may be just overthinking something here. Okay. Yeah, we're getting pretty late in the game here. So, I gotta start evolving Pokemon. I got some Pokemon. I got I got which Pokemon I need to evolve and which Pokemon I can catch later on. I already got a list of those Pokemon, so I'm gonna do some evolutions here soon. Probably gonna start it on this episode. There are two Pokemon I need to trade for. We gotta get Glammeow and Stunky, which I need to trade from one from Diamond, one from Pearl. Oh, it's another mandatory battle. whoop de doo Hey! Hey! A yay. What? A ya! A ya! Is that what you said? Okie dokie. All right. We got Black Belt David with another Steelix. My goodness. Steelix, you're four times weak to Earthquake, aren't you? Are you Rock Steel or are you Steel Ground? I think you're Rock Steel. But you do got, like, I believe you have the highest defense in the whole game. I want to say your base defense is, like, 160 or, like, 220 or something like that. It's something ridiculous. Ridiculous! But, on the bright side, its attack isn't that high. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. You barely survived. Okie dokie. I gotta stop saying okie dokie. I don't know why that word stuck in my mouth today. It just stuck in my mouth today. I'm so excited for tomorrow, though. Iron Island, or Iron... Yeah, Iron Island. I'm so excited, so excited to go do Iron Island. Oh, man, you have no idea. You have no idea. There's only a couple Pokemon for us to catch there. But I love Iron Island. I also hate it at the same time. And it's another Steelix. Oh, man. If I knew you had two Steelix, I would have used myself a... Uh... I got two Earthquakes, so let me use a Swords Dance. So that way, one Earthquake should take you almost all the way down. Right? If I didn't use Swords Dance, Steelix would stand up to two Earthquakes. Now, Steelix will not stand up to two Earthquakes. So he decided to use Sandstorm, even though my Pokemon is Ground-type, so in, in no way is it doing anything. Oh, look at that. It was a crit. Oh, it was a crit. I like a crit. I love crit. Okay. Enough already. Let's see how many more mandatory battles there are. 888 Poke Dollars. Come on. I get more than that when I, I'm sleeping. Okay. I believe this should be it. I don't believe there are... Oh, no. There is one more mandatory battle. Oh, no. Let's go ahead and swap in to... I don't know. I don't know what Pokemon we have. I don't know. Let's find out. I could have used a Leopardberry. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. No, oh, no. Stop talking to me. Let's do this already, lady. We got three Pokemon. We got a Bronzor. So, Zelos, you're not really going to do anything because I'm pretty sure Bronzor has Levitate. You might not. You might not. That's probably something I should look up. Let's see here. I guess we'll send in Pharaoh. Pharaoh has Bite. Pharaoh also has the Dread Plate, which increases Dark-type attacks. But, 
Bronzor does have... Oh, no. Confuse Ray. What are you doing to me? What are you doing? Bronzor, I need to get myself a Dark-type move that is a special attack. Because I believe there is a Bronzor in the Elite Four. And the Elite Four is a pain in the butt. I, is Cynthia the one that has Bronzor? I don't remember. I don't know. I don't know. Guess we're going to find out later. Get through the confusion. Of course you didn't. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Because, you know, I don't got things to do today. I had things to do today, buddy. So get through the confusion. Three in a row. What the? Oh, my goodness, Pharaoh. What poop? What poop? Bull poop. And, oh, you survived with one. Let's go ahead and just use an HP healing item, which is here. The one that says HP. I guess we'll use Moo Moo Milk. Why not? All right. Now let's get through this confusion. It was three turns. Gyro Ball. Gyro Ball. That did nothing. I'm okay with that. Nope, 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 nope. Go to fight. Hit with a bite. And you're still confused. Three turns. Four in a row. What? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. What are you doing to me? Thank you for snapping out of confusion. And this is going to do like nothing now. Yeah, look at that. Oh, but I got a flinch. I will take it. Yes. Oh, speaking of flinch. So Pharaoh wanted to learn Thunderfang. Thunderfang has the same attack as Spark. They both have a chance of paralysis. But Spark is 100, has 100 accuracy. Thunderfang had 95, I want to say it was. It might have been 90. But ha but it also has the chance to flinch, but I went ahead and decided, no, I'm not I'm not going to use Thunderfang. I would rather Spark. Just for the fact is, I would prefer having a better accuracy move over the chance of a secondary thing happening. In this case, it being a flinch. That's just the way I am. That's what I prefer. I hate you, Bronzor. This one might not take it out. You're right there where you might survive. You did not survive. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. When does Pharaoh learn Crunch? You gotta be learning Crunch soon. I got. I'm gonna have to look that up. I don't know the level, but it's gotta be coming up soon. It's gotta be. You don't, right? Right? I don't know. We'll find out. All right, all right. Let's just end this battle. My goodness, this mandatory battle is kicking my butt. It's not really kicking my butt, but it's exhausting me. It's exhausting me. I got Pokemon to evolve. I got Pokemon to evolve. Bronzors? I believe this gym leader has a Bronzong. So if I'm having this much trouble with Bronzors, I'm not really going to be having much fun with a Bronzong. Am I? We are done. Finally. Finally. I just want to check. I don't think there is another mandatory battle. There could be, but I don't think there is. Let's find out. Let us find out. Let us. Yep. There we go. That is the gym leader. In the next episode, we are going to battle the gym leader. But we're going to not worry about that right now. If you want to get out, this is how you get out. It's so much fun. I like I, I, I like the puzzle. It's not really a puzzle, but I like this Uh thing i don't i really don't know what to call it whatever it is this whatever i don't know you know i'm at a loss for words at the moment because uh, i don't know i just am because that stayed that lady with the three bronzongs bronzors kind of made me a little irritated for no reason whatsoever whatsoever but hey that's gonna do it for this episode i am more than likely gonna do a couple evolutions I'm going to put the trade for Gengar to show you when it evolved. And yeah, in the next episode, we're going to take on the gym leader and we're going to start exploring Iron Island. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you.